Well, just in time for Halloween, we have a wonderful treat for you this morning. The lovely and ever crafty Anita Pruvel is here with us this morning to talk about some wonderful last minute costume ideas. Anita, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Cobb. Why don't we just start over here? Sure. What we have here are some really great costume ideas you can put together last minute. These are just fun, simple ideas you can put together in a few minutes. Oh my goodness, who is this? This is so adorable. Isn't it? Well, here we have Tony wearing a really simple to make werewolf mask. All you need is some construction paper and a pair of scissors. Next, we have Carmen here, dressed as Lisa Simpson. This one is really simple to make, and all you need is the hair and these plastic pearls we found at the dollar barn. Hmm, so if Carmen here can wear face paint to look like a Simpson, why can't I go as Tina Turner? I just don't really understand why kids can't color their face anymore. I mean, when I was a kid, it was perfectly acceptable to darken your face for Halloween. I'm just saying, I just don't get it. Um, oh, well, uh, I guess I hadn't thought about that. This is another fun, easy-to-assemble costume. Can you figure out who Liam is dressed as? I know who he is. He's Groucho Marx. Look at that cute mustache. But he doesn't have the cigar. I mean, I really just don't get why kids can't smoke cigars in public like they used to. When I was a kid, it was perfectly acceptable for children to smoke cigars in public. I mean, it's just a bit of fun, and everyone finds it offensive. I just don't get that, right? Hmm, yeah, I guess. Um, but they are just children. <laughs> well, thanks again to these adorable children. Well, now, Anita, you're going to show us a quick costume you can put together with items you have around the house. Yes, here we just need a regular newspaper, and we fold it into the shape of a hat. And now we're going to use some acrylic black paint. Acrylic, hmm? Why not lead paint? That surprises me. When I was young, it was perfectly acceptable to use lead paint in everything. Now everyone is saying that it's not PC to use it anymore. I just don't get it. It seems a bit ridiculous to me, really. I'm not sure if that's the issue. So what do we have here? Oh, okay. Well, after we paint it, we're going to add a few decorations. A few of these really cute foam stars will really give a lot of life to this plain black hat. And you're not even using any mercury to form this hat. See, that's really crazy. I mean, back in my day, it was perfectly acceptable to handle mercury anytime you were working on a hat. Now we have this political correctness that says touching mercury will offend the Norwegians. I mean, I just don't understand. This is kooky. Really, the Norwegians. Uh, no, I don't think, um... Uh, anyway. Well, now that we've added all our decorations, our witch's hat is complete. Oh, it's a witch's hat. See, that really doesn't make sense to me. <sighs> when I was a kid, it was perfectly acceptable to burn people at the stake for wearing anything that resembled a witch's hat. I think it's crazy that we have this anti-free speech movement that says it's not okay to burn people at the stake that you suspect of being a witch because the Obamas say so. This is nuts. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well... Once you're finished, just be sure to wash your hands. What? Okay, washing your hands? See, that shocks me. Back when I was young, it was perfectly acceptable to not wash your hands after you went to the bathroom. Now we have these PC police that are going around saying that every time you don't wash your hands, a chicken nugget gets insulted. Really, a chicken nugget. I just don't get it. Mmm. <sighs> Thanks, Anita Approval, for stopping by. If I don't see you guys after the break, I am on LinkedIn. Thank you.